What's up, everybody? My name is Arcagus, and this is Magic Archery. This is a free game with overwhelmingly positive reviews. Came out about a month ago on Steam. And yeah, I decided to take a look. Well, sorry, break your first tar target. A skill has gained experience. Check it out here. Okay, so you click on skills. Next skill, 30 gold. Strength, unlock. So concentration. So the next skill we'll gain is strength with a purchase of 30. I'm assuming that's a gold coin. We gained a bit of concentration. Let's build another target friend to work on while we watch this. Concentration now level one. Concentration is now level two. We're getting 66 XP. 69 XP. Increase, increase the experience you get from breaking targets by 20%. Okay, so every time we gain a concentration, we, we improve the amount of XP we gain. Okay, we also have a new button here. Quests. Next quest skill requirements. Concentration level four. Unlock. All right, so now we have herb gathering level one. Gather herbs and mushrooms from the forest. Reward every time you complete the quest. One gold. Up skill requires concentration level five. Reward plus one. So we need to keep, keep improving our concentration with archery practice. Okay, now we're getting two per per use. And we'll get another upskill at level at concentration six. We got our strength. Strength increases the damage due from normal arrows. So we're doing 20 damage now. Let me turn this down a little bit. Alright. So I need to keep crafting these targets. Select skills radio button to focus leveling it up. All right, so right now we're focused on concentration. Oh, so we're only leveling up concentration. Let's get our concentration up to a little bit more since we're almost to the eighth level. All right, let's switch to strength. Goes up a pretty decent amount. Next skill is Dexterity, and we unlock it at 300 gold. Our gathering can go up, and can go up again. You unlock upgrades. Buy them using gold. Okay. Amulet of Insight, a family heirloom. Seems to allow you to think more clearly. Increases concentration skill experience gained by 50%. Okay, so that can boost our concentration. Enchanted Bow from a mysterious village craftsman. Seems to adapt to your strength. Increases strength skill experience by 50%. Okay. Ooh, we get more targets. Wooden targets. Canvas targets are not sturdy enough. Craft wooden targets, which have a 1.2 thousand health and give more experience. Okay, that's something to look forward to. Okay, Amulet in Vinsight seems to be the best thing to buy here at 75 gold. We'll hide maxed upgrades so we don't have to see those while we're trying to... Okay, herb gathering is now max. We're getting four per. We probably should have done that a second ago. Next skill quest... Next quest skill requires strength of level six. So let's keep those targets going. What's that? What? I don't know what the dot does. I want to click the dot. I probably need to work on my focus, huh? Okay, so farming. So we're getting four per hour. One strength is level eight. We'll get three from farming. It ain't much, but it's honest work. We can only focus on one. Let's get more targets. And the enchanted bow. 
Since we are working on strength, right? Yeah. So, oh, oh reward every time you complete the quest night. All right, so now, yeah. Farming's now maxed out. Once he starts on a target, he focuses on that target until it's gone. Okay, so we can unlock dexterity. So concentration is your experience. Strength is your damage. Fire rate is your dexterity. Increases dexterity skill experience by 50. Yeah, we want that. We will buy that soon for 300. All right, we got the magic quiver. Ooh, auto craft targets. We definitely want that. Since I seem to be a little horrible at this. So you can upgrade your shop, your items too. So the next upgrade will be the Amulet of Insight, it looks like. Or we may skip that and go with wooden targets and then go back to Amulet of Insight. Because attack rate is incredible. We got something else here. Okay, we have hut building. Gain 104 concentration XP. And gold. Nice. Dexterity level. So we need to come continue down the dexterity path. How is our dexterity? 16. Okay, now we need to get it to 19. Takes longer to kill the wooden targets, but they give better rewards, right? Okay, hut building is maxed out. Accuracy level 20. So we haven't unlocked accuracy yet. We get that at 1.1 thousand gold. Okay, so we're gaining concentration. Are we gaining strength? No, we're not gaining any strength. But we are gaining concentration again, which is nice. I, I want to buy autocraft targets. I know I should unlock accuracy. But I want to give it some time. I want to get auto craft targets first. It seems like a really lazy thing, but that's where we're at. Okay, auto craft targets. <laughs> okay, I feel like I'm losing efficiency here, so I need to. Stay focused and streamline on, streamline on this. I shouldn't skip. I think that's setting us back as far as where we, you know, what our next uh, advancement is. All right, we have our accuracy. Increase the fire rate of all arrows by 205%. I'm, I'm, I'm loving that. We're gonna let it go to 45. I know I said about streamlining my efficiency here, but I really like my fire rate. Okay, but we're going to switch over. We're going to just start playing. All right, accuracy. Increases critical hit chance of normal errors by 9%, 10%. Critical hits increase damage by 200%. So they see that crit. No, they go hand in hand. I'm really glad I did the auto, auto target thing. Next skill is Vitality at 9,000 gold. We are ready to unlock Bird Hunting. Okay. This contributes to accuracy experience. So it's all accuracy. But we're making more, more money. Concentration level 40 unlocks. So we're about to unlock our concentration. If we go back to dexterity for a minute. Actually, we should stick with dexterity. Accuracy is going to keep advancing anyway, right? Oh, but concentration only goes up if we work on huts. There we go. All right, 
Alright, Forest Patrol. Gain 600 concentration and 600 dexterity XP. I like that. What sort of upgrades can we buy? Amulet of Blood. Increase accuracy, skill, and experience by 50%. We'll take that. Amulet of Insight. Keep advancing our concentration. Enchanted Bow is next. What causes uh, the reward to go up? Okay, the first two only gave money. Hub Building was the first one that returned. But these gains are going up. What, what makes the gains go up for the quests? It's got to be something I've equipped. Experience gain. I'm struggling with why this game is free. Is it a copy of another game? All right, dexterity, accuracy, craft stone targets, which have 12,000 health and give more experience. Let's do the stone targets. Well, I like that the targets don't change until you've destroyed the previous one. You don't just automatically move past. Okay. Of skill. So now force patrol is maxed. Move to the city for more opportunities. Should we focus on strength for a while? Everything else is slowing down, so I think we should. Wait for dexterity to finish here. And then we'll switch over to strength. Oh, wow. Unleash additional arrows made of life force that deal zero damage. Made of life force? Oh, your, your vitality. So the higher your vitality, the more arrows you can unleash. Or the more powerful the arrow. Okay, we're doing some decent damage now. We can unlock deer hunting. We can already upskill it. Let's go it again. All right, strength and accuracy are going up now. So that means we should be able to focus on vitality. We should have a new... Wow. Okay, amulet of vitality, 9K. Let's go ahead and get that. Oh, wow, we haven't even maxed out deer hunting. We've already unlocked mining. Which focuses on vitality. All right, so our damage is 109,000 per minute. And that's constantly rising. So the green arrows are the vitality arrows, I'm, I'm assuming. Brown arrows are the natural or the physical arrows. We're working on, what are we working on right now? Vitality is going up. Only vitality is going up. We're making almost a thousand per, per quest here. Strength and accuracy. All right, mining's maxed. All jobs unlocked. Next skill is Magic Affinity at 50,000. Our Vitality arrows are doing more damage than our, strength, our physical arrows. Strength and Accuracy are going up. And Vitality is going up. Why? What am I focused on? I'm focused on Vitality. Okay. So when I destroy the target, I get the XP for Vitality. And then strength and accuracy are going up from the questing. And I still haven't maxed out deer hunting. Strength 64. How far off am I from that? I already got it. Okay. So now we're just focused on making money, right? So the best money is coming from mining. So let's max that out. Okay. 
50,000, we can unlock magic affinity. I don't know if we're ready to move to the city yet or not. I'm assuming we are since that's a 30,000 purchase and this is a 50,000 purchase, but that we get, that we already have the money for it. Might as well take it now and start working on it. So we're going to switch to magic affinity now. Increase fire rate of all arrows by, wait, hold on. What's this? Oh, so Magic Affinity starts gaining over oh, level 44 already. Speed up Magic XP gain by 235. So we're about to hit our first point of Magic. Our first level of Magic. It's a point. Okay. So learn how to shoot mana arrows. Okay. So now we're shooting an, an additional type of arrow. Doesn't do a lot of damage yet. Okay, so these are unlocked. So as soon as you spend a point, I need two points to increase mana arrow damage by 50%. Two points to increase mana arrow's fire rate by 100%. Let's do fire rate. Increase mana arrow damage by 50%. Wait, are these both damage? Yeah. So we can double damage with four points. Learn how to shoot ice arrows. Ice arrows shoot at multiple targets. Increase critical rate of ice arrows by 50% of accuracy level. Okay. Increase vitality skill experience by 250%. Increase concentration skill by 250%. Okay, we can do damage now. Wizard trainer. Hire wizard to train you in magical arts. Increase magic affinity skill experience by 50%. Oh, you got a little wizard over here. I got more orbs flying around me. I can't click any of them. Well, look at my fire rate. So we can level up the wizard trainer. All right, I think it's time to move to the city. Got two more points. We've got all of our max. Okay, do we want to go down the ice arrow path, the fire arrow path? Or the life force portal arrows. Portal arrows sounds awesome. Actually, why don't why do we have to do all? Uh, wait, let's just invest in both. All right, ice arrows shooting at both targets. See if we can get the same from fire arrows. Where are my stats at now? So we're still focusing on magic affinity. Other things are going up as well. All skills are unlocked. All quests are unlocked. Oh, all skills and all jobs are unlocked because that's what you, these are what you can learn in the forest. We need to switch the city to new, learn new skills and new jobs. All right, so let's go ahead and upgrade to the city. Well, let's see. Increase critical rate of I fire ice arrows by 50%. Strength will increase damage of fire arrows by 50% of normal arrow effect. Fire arrows by 50% of normal arrow effect. Okay, so let's... Woo. All right, getting ready to move to the city. All right, we are now in the city. And yeah, we've got all new upgrades. No more skills. Oh, but we do have a new quest. And we started it automatically. And then once accuracy is level 70, we can up we can unlock the new quest, a new job. They call them quests here, but over here they'll call it jobs at the end. Okay, concentration level 65 to upgrade the city watch. So let's go and let's focus on concentration. All right, we've got 65. Next, we want 70. Wow, that's a lot of XP. It's 
level 80. All right, it's now maxed out. Now we're making 2.5K. All right, we got nine points to spend. Increase critical damage of ice arrows by 100%. I should have bought that earlier. Okay, next we need accuracy level 70. Okay, let's get more targets. And then let's get... Okay, switch to strength for a bit. Since we know strength can level up pretty quickly needs to catch up with the other skills strength get the bow and then we'll get the quiver and we'll focus on dexterity next all right let's get it to 90 then we'll switch to dex get that to 90 Check our magic. We got 12 points. Ooh, accuracy. We're going to be working on that soon. Crit damage. Increase critical damage of all arrows by 100%. That's good. Okay. Ready to switch to accuracy. Okay, so that should unlock a new job. Sharpshooter. Also, also increases accuracy. And then we need dexterity 95 for the next job. All right, sharpshooters are already maxed out. Defense city walls by snapping targets from far away. Accuracy and concentration are going up. Increase group damage of ice arrows by 100%. All right, we need to switch to dexterity here in a second. Oh, there's more stuff. Mithril targets. Amulet of time. Increase all the skill experience by 100%. Oh, okay. Let's learn the new skill. Once we get this to 95, I'll switch to vitality. All right, now Vitality's growing. Unlock the Assassin. Wow. Reach one million damage per minute. Nice. All right, we're getting Concentration and Dexterity with this. We need a Dexterity 100 to level up. So this will level itself up without us working on it. I'm two, and three, and four, and five. Let's get magic affinity up for a bit. And then we'll get strength up to 100. Critical damage of all arrows by 100%. Okay, I can finally level that up. Could probably buy some upgrades with that much money. Okay, strength. What are we gaining right now? Concentration, dexterity, and magic affinity. So amulet of blood, amulet of vitality are next. Dexterity 105. Dexterity is going up by itself, right? Yeah. And then we will focus on dexterity. All right. At strength 115, we'll unlock the new quest, but I think we want to max out Assassin first. So we're getting the max income. And all right, it's maxed out. 16,000 per 18 points. Increase strength skill experience by 250. We need strength next, right? I think we'll go for more targets next. Oh, 
Oh, mithril targets. Let's do that. We got our strength. All right. Arena champion. Also requires strength, so. It levels up strength. We're focusing on strength. This should go pretty quick, and then we'll switch to concentration. Strength 127. Vitality's falling behind. We get 27k per. I love the progression. Look at my dude go. 33 strength. Level four. All right. Life force arrow damage. Life force arrow. Learn how to shoot special arrows. Arrows shoot at multiple targets. Okay. That's good. Learn how to shoot portal arrows, random targets. 2.4 million, so we can buy more targets. We can get Wizard Trainer again. And we can still level up Wizard Trainer. All right, Arena, Arena Champion's maxed out. We can switch to Concentration. 29, 30. What do we need? 135. It'll tell us when we get there. Our damage is fluctuating. I'm assuming that's for the criticals. All right. Our new skill is Royal Guard. 2.7 million concentration. 2.7 million strength. 678 dexterity. All right. Magic Quiver, Area of Blood, Amulet Vitality is next. Then Amulet of Insight. Definitely want to keep that upgraded. Magic Affinity level 135. We're going to have to focus on that soon. But for now, we're focused on Concentration. How far are we from the concentration? One more. 50K. There we go. Now 75K. All right. Probably should have bought that a long time ago. Uh, let's see. Enchanted Bow. Wizard Trainer's next. But we're running out of things to buy with the Wizard Trainer. 153, we're at 150. Once we get to 153, I'm going to switch to Vitality. Let that level up because I'm sure we're going to need that here. We're up over 5 million damage. Yeah, look at that jump. Nice. All right, so we need 159 concentration next. We should still be gaining concentration levels, just not as quickly. All right. Just actually gain from targets by 75%. Nice. 25%. Oh, we definitely want that. Need six points. And go. All right. Ooh, for every unspent magic XP, increase portal error damage. I think we want this one first, magic vision. Or alchemy. I think we want alchemy. Yeah, look at vital vitality XP go. Okay, alchemy. 
Concentration's next, seven points. Strength. Then dexterity, okay. One fifty nine. We're almost there. We're going to go ahead and switch. All right, one fifty nine is coming up. Up skill maxed. <coughs> okay, now we need magic affinity one thirty five. Chant bow. Okay, we got 16 points. Strength, concentration. Damn it, I should have done the concentration a long time ago. Strength, dexterity. Seven points. Okay. Dragon Hunter. That sounds amazing. Concentration, accuracy, vitality, and magic affinity. Yes, please. Let's max that out. All right. Only 16K versus 125K and 45K. But we should be able to upskill that pretty quickly. Oh, now it's 150K. Next, it'll be 225. 47, we're almost there. Now we're gonna go to 300K at 153. 100%. 150. Up to seven million damage a minute. And we're gonna time increase all experience gain by 100%. We can buy it twice. All right, Dragon Hunter's maxed out. Cloud Piercer. All right, skill requirements. Can you become the greatest archer? All right, we're, we're almost to the end of the game. So what do we need to do to reach that ending? We got all our magic. Cloud piercer. We've got our concentration. We need to get vitality to 168. Everything else can can gain from this gear skill. So we go back to Dragon Hunter. Or we can just focus on vitality. Get it that way. Strength's made it. Dexterity's about to make it. Vitality. Nice, right, so vitality's about to hit. Magic affinity's already hit. Accuracy and vitality are all we have left. Really don't need any more of these. Okay, 164, 165, 166, it's a new game, it's free, it's a, new game? it's a new game, it's free and everybody loves it, so I decided to, mm -hmm. the end, become the greatest archer. One hour and six minutes. An archer. The shoe? Yeah, shoot arrows. Magic archery. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, archer. All right, so that was magic archery. I don't know why the game is free. Unless it's a, a blatant copy of another game, which that could be the case. I just, I just don't know what it would be. Or this is just like the prelude to something bigger and better that he wants to get you know, some visibility too.
this is amazing for a free game. This is great. I mean, I can understand the reticence to uh, putting out something that you can finish in an hour and charging money for it. So, so yeah, but it wouldn't take a lot of tweaking to make it more open-ended and uh, more expansive. Uh, you know, adding some sort of gradient scale to XP. So it's taking a little bit longer to get to those higher points. But I don't know. I, I think there's something to be said about the balance of the game as it's designed now. And rather than dragging out those those gates between those levels, just adding more things to do, like adding a place to go after the city. You know, so uh, you start in the forest, you end up in the city. Maybe the next time you go to the ruins or to a dungeon. But yeah. Anyway, thanks for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe and follow whichever platform you see us on. And until next time, be safe.